And we're starting with the stretch that's going to take us from lying down to getting moving for our day. So one of the things I want us to do is to start lying down. And you don't have to be lying down in Pilates position. As a matter of fact, the more it imitates the way you are in bed, the better, because this is going to get us to get our body started if we can start in bed. I can't usually start in bed because I, I get up to go to the bathroom, so I can't quite start my stretches in bed. But if I was, this is what I do. So, okay, so say you're lying in bed, right? And you can just like, however you lie, you just get right on your back. Now, everything should be done one side at a time because what we don't want to do is to put our back into, into a shock, right? So first, take one leg and bring it in and don't pull hard. Just bring it in and breathe. As you breathe, you'll feel it naturally come toward your chest. And again, and then I want you to curl yourself up so that the upper part of the body can uh, parallel the bottom part of the body in the curl. And so you start to stretch your back up there. You can feel your back stretch. And then lay your head back down and take your leg up. You don't have to bring it in toward your head. Just bring it up and we're going to flex it. All right, it's going to feel a little tight. So pull, uh, bend a little bit and then point it and then bend a little bit and then flex it and then bend a little bit and then point it and then curl up again. Put your hand behind your thigh. Curl up, look at your knee. Take a nice deep breath. Bring it down and again. Good. And again. And then lower your head when you come. Now, what I'd like to do is take the other leg out, then this knee again, put your hand on the outside of this leg and take it over to the side. There we go. Now, same thing, we're gonna breathe. Keep those shoulders and shoulder blades down. Don't have the head go toward the knee. You want it in the opposite direction or straight up. So you wanna feel separation of the, the lower part of the body from the upper part of the body. That feels so tremendous. Just hang on to that twist. This is the kind of safest way to do a spinal twist. If when you're sitting, you do one and you feel a lot of movement in your um, SI joint or a pull on your piriformis, come down and do this one. This one's just a lot more supported. And okay, inhale to prepare, exhale, and bring that back and put that foot straight down. We're gonna go to the other one, bring it in, same thing. First, you're just going to softly bring it in toward your chest. Breathe into it. As you breathe, you'll feel the separation. And then bring your chest up and then nice big breaths. Lay your head back down, hold it right there. Nice. Great, and then extend that leg up again. It's going to be bend to flex, bend to point. Now this can all feel very stiff in the morning because your muscles aren't warm yet. That's why we're using the bend, right? And last time, or flex, and last time to point, and we're curled up again. Big inhale and exhale lower, and again. Lay your head back down and let that happen. And then, we are going to extend the other leg, bend this knee and take it across, looking away from it or looking straight up, keeping those shoulders and shoulder blades down. Let's add that breath. Good. And that gets our lower body started. Keep that knee over there, scoop the other knee under it, bring your arm around and bring yourself into tabletop. Right, so all you've already prepared the bottom part of your body. So we're going to take the bottom and the top together. We're going to take the bottom and the top together. So first thing I want you to do is separate your arms pretty wide, then take your chest to the floor, keeping your glutes straight up. I would like you to put your forehead on the floor and take a nice deep breath right here. Then put your elbows on the floor. And keep breathing. Now, walk it forward and put your chest on the floor. 
uh, you're going to feel more in your back here. So you want to make sure your knees are under your hip. So scoot them in a little. If you feel it in your back, bring your knees closer to your chest. And then we're going to push this the other way. Child pose. You want parallel legs here. Then bring it back to tabletop. Inhale, bottom and chin up. Exhale, curl up like a cat and hold it right there. Inhale, bottom and chin up. And when you exhale and curl up like a cat, I want you to take your head to one side. So you're looking over one shoulder. Then inhale, back to center. And exhale, look over the other shoulder. Inhale, back to center. Exhale to uh, curl. Then I want you to put your toes of one foot into the floor and push it back into a flex. So you're pushing your heel past your toes. And then you're gonna slide it back in. Same thing on the other side. Inhale and exhale, slide it back. I'm gonna to have to take my socks off pretty soon because I'm gonna need my grip. And then slide it back in. So let me get these socks off because we're gonna be using our feet. And so we want grip, we don't wanna slide, right? So if you have socks on, this is a good time to take them off. Here, Bruce, you can wear those. Okay, back to here. Okay, so we're gonna slide back again, drop the knee and bring ourselves up to lift it. So you're gonna feel a stretch right in the front of that hip. Flatten the foot. Right? We don't want it to be too eccentric because then you'll get a pull in the front of the hip. So we want it to be just pretty much right out. You want your torso right over your hip girdle. All right, bring your arms back down and slide that knee back in. Other side, take it out like you did before, drop it, and then bring yourself up. You can feel that stretch. If you can't get yourself all the way up, that's okay. You just, where you want to feel the stretch is right in the front of the hip, right on the side too. Get your head over your top up. Good. And then bring it back down and slide it back in. Then we're going to take the foot into the floor again, this time perched pretty high and just push through the heel. And you're lifted on this one. You're not in child pose. Bring it back and then the other side and you're lifted. Okay. And bring it back to center. Now we're going to go in the other direction. We're going to take the foot beside the hand. You can use your hand to bring yourself up to the lift. Now you can see that there's a nice square lunge here. Put your hand down and scoot that other knee back to get a little more of an eccentric stretch. Flatten the foot. Get your head over tailbone. Good. Now what I'd like you to do in this position is to take a big inhale and exhale and take a fold beside your leg into the center of your body. Now this could be hard on your knee. If it is, just don't do it. Just stay in the stretch. Just come on down and breathe into it. Then inhale to prepare, exhale, curl yourself back up, put your foot on the heel and you get that hamstring stretch. Get your head over tailbone. While you're in that hamstring stretch, I'm gonna bring you around and open up more of your upper body. Good, for that nice chest opener. Make sure your head's over your tailbone when you do this, right? And drop the shoulder blades, then lift the hands. So those are simultaneous actions, right? So your foot's out there, bring your hands back in. You're gonna take one hand on the outside of the foot and slide down your body to the, or the leg, slide your body down to the center. And you're gonna feel that big stretch right there. Good. Breathe into it, make sure you're breathing, then slide it up, all right? And then you're gonna drop the foot to the outside if you can. Again, this might be tough on your knee. If it is, stay with your foot in the center. Good, just drop it to one side. Bring it back to center, good job, nice. Now we're gonna take our chest over that leg. So you rotate, and then you bring the chest down, inhale and exhale down over that leg. You can feel how deeply this very simple stretch is getting the back of that leg. Good. Now put your hand inside the legs and this is where 
you're going to slip yourself back into position because you're more stable that way. Okay. So now we go back to tabletop. Take a nice deep breath. Inhale. Exhale, curl up like a cat. Inhale. And exhale and bring the other foot forward. Lift yourself up. And if you'd like to, take the opposite knee back a little bit and hold yourself in this nice big stretch. Good. In this stretch, you're going to do a forward fold right through the center of your body. Make sure your foot in the back is flat. And then you're going to curl yourself up. Nice. Flex that foot. Again, if any of this hurts, you stay in the last position that didn't hurt, right? So you want to stay in the last position that didn't hurt. So I got so much dog hair on me right now. I'm massaging him a lot. All right, we're coming down to the center. So slide your hand along the outside of the leg. Inhale and exhale and come down to the center. You'll feel really nice hamstring and inner thigh action here. Shh. Drop those shoulder blades. Keep your head on your spine. Good. Wow. Inhale and exhale. Bring yourself up. Again, if it feels safe, rock your foot to the outside and feel that stretch coming in the inside of the leg. Nice, bring it back to center, then shift your chest toward your thigh if it feels safe, and then come on down. Breathe into it and lower. Good. Nice, You're doing great. Good, now put your hands inside and then you bring your knees back and we then create tabletop again. Okay, so one of the things I'm going to offer you is to continue to do uh, uh, inhale and exhale, but I'm going to a more advanced stretch, which is going to be the foot through the middle to the opposite hand. So you're gonna, you can stay in neutral, you can stay with that cat cow, or you can take this hand and walk it across. You want to keep your chest in the center, your inner thigh toward the ceiling, and you just hold it right there. Get that nice stretch. Now you're going to take the hand, the opposite hand, over to the other wrist. So your body's in a little bit of a rotation on the upper and lower body in different directions. Bring the hand up, put it back in position, take the knee back, and just hold yourself for two breaths in your tabletop. Okay, the other leg goes across if you can. I'm having a little trouble with this knee, as you know. Stephen in with me and take out, take it across. Good, and breathe into it. Then take the opposite arm and take it over. Woo, there's some move. Take it over to the wrist. And then back under the hand and then back under the shoulder and then back. Now I want your toes together and your knees apart and you're gonna sit first. I want you to sit as far back as you can first. Then you're gonna walk your hands forward. Good, and bring yourself all the way down. Nice. Now, one of the things we have a tendency to do is push our head back against our neck. So make sure you're looking down. Good, walk it in, drop your glutes to one side and open into your straddle. Nice, flex your feet, get your head over your child bone. Make sure you're on your sit bones. If you need to bend your knees to be on your sit bones, that's okay. All right, flex your feet, get your head over your tailbone. drop your shoulder blades, breathe, point your feet. Nice, flex your feet, point your feet, good. And then relax them. So they should be relaxed into a kind of neutral point. I'd like you to roll your shoulders back four times. Very small rolls, your hands don't leave the floor. And then forward. So that's how we know this is a small roll because otherwise we'd be lifting our hands up. Two and three and four. Now put your hands out back of them together, cross them and palms are 
touching, right? The fingers interweave. Just hold it right there. Get yourself, now you might be falling back. Get yourself on your sit bones. Now take this over one of the legs. Good, and hold it right there. Reach forward above the leg. It's a hinge reach. Nice. Inhale, exhale to the center. Now what I'd like you to do, take those arms out and wrap them in the other way. Okay, so different arm is on the top. Get your shoulder blades down, get yourself on your sit bones. Take it over to the other thigh. Breathe into it. And then inhale and exhale and hinge across it. You're not going down at all, not going that far. Make sure the other cheek is still attached to the, to the mat. Good, and inhale and exhale and bring it back together and take it out and put those arms back to the center. Now we're gonna do a shoulder roll so that it comes to our ears. So now the hands come off the floor a little bit. Two and three and four and then forward. One and two. Are you holding your belly button to the spine? Gosh, I hope so. All right, take the arms out to the side. One arm is on the ear. The other arm is reaching, reaching, reaching out, reaching out, reaching out. Take your other ear and then you come all the way over, dropping that arm down. Good. And then bring it back to center. Other side. You're going to reach and reach. Inhale, exhale. You have that bicep on your ear. Good, and then drop that shoulder as you bring it over to the side. Now we're gonna do that in a different angle. Stay on your sit bones. All right, remember, arm on the ear. Now what I'd like you to do is turn toward your extended arm, turn toward your extended arm, reach and reach, stay on your sit bones, and then take your ear. You have that rotated head going across, so you're getting a different kind of stretch. Oops, lower the, lower the arm, sorry about that. And then look down into your armpit. So you're doing back and front. Bring it back to center and release it. Other side, you're gonna look over at that arm, right? And reach and reach and reach and reach. Take the ear, let the shoulder come down. You're still rotated. Then you look down at your armpit. Bring it back to center and here. And now we're doing a huge shoulder roll, starting with our hands behind our thighs. Roll up using the, the um, elbows. This is our vulture <laughs> rotation. So we're gonna do eight of these, so four more in both directions. And three, ooh, and two. So you're getting chest, right? And one, and then do it forward, good. Oh, now you're getting rhomboids and back and deltoids, right? Four more, four and three and two and one and turn towards your thigh. Stay in this rotation or right here. Get your head over your tailbone. We're not extending anything. We're kind of narrow to begin. Then we're gonna roll down to the end of the foot. So this is gonna be a flattening one instead of a hinging one. You did a hinging one before. So inhale and exhale, you roll it down, you slide across the thigh, hands on the side of the leg, the elbows bent. Good, and hold it right there. Breathe into it and lower it down. Now from here, put your hand on the floor, put the other hand beside it. So you have a little bit of a rotation. Good, and hold it right there. And then back onto the thigh, try to come just a little bit lower. And then inhale and exhale, slide it in and rotate toward the other one. Same thing, pull up through the, up under the rib cage, curl it down and walk across. Now put both hands on the outside of the leg, get that stretch. <clears throat> and bring it back to center. Pull it down just a little bit more and slide it back up. Nice. Putting the arms across, we take the top of the body side to side. Good. Just doing a transition between 
the folds. Four and three and two and one. And now take your arms overhead, curl down. So you're pulling the abs up under the rib cage. When you get down here, you exhale, and this is a curl down. So you are taking your chest as close to the floor as possible. Big inhale and exhale lower, and big inhale and exhale lower, and then walk it back in. All right, let's take the legs together and bounce them out a little bit. Nice job. Great. Right, we're going to tuck under and bring ourselves up to standing. I know you're saying, where's that downward facing job we're used to? It's coming. It's coming. We're going to do some openings at, openings at the top of the it's a standing opening. So let's start with our positioning. Your legs are sit bone width apart, driving right down from your hips, your belly buttons to your spine. Your abs are up and under your ribcage. Your shoulder blades are down. Your ear, shoulder, and hip are in alignment. And your head is over your tailbone. That's all. That <laughs> sounded like a lot. I'd like you to take your arms out side to side. Just hold them right here and cactus. Bring them in as close as you can. Feel the opening in the back. And then take them out and squeeze without moving, without winging the shoulders back. I want you to squeeze the shoulder blades together, right? Soften your knees if you're feeling any back issues. And then again, shh, as close as you can get them. Don't let one part lead. So the hands and the elbows need to be on the same line. And then take it back and squeeze those shoulder blades together. We're going to do that two more times. Get ready. Inhale and exhale. And squeeze and take it out and bring those shoulders together. Bring the arm down. Just drop the shoulders. You're going to feel the lowering in the chest and bring the hands down. Nice. Arms out to the side. Now, I want you to open a little bit wider. Soften those knees and you're going to take the top over the bottom. The bottom stays nice and anchored. Don't let yourself pitch forward. It's really easy to pitch forward on this one. Good. Let's do eight more. Eight over seven, breathe right through it. Six, head over tailbone, come on. Five, it's easy to lose it. Four, good job. Three and two and one and come back to center and then turn to an open uh, twist. Open twists are for people who like to go slowly into the rotations and maybe not do a full spinal twist. Inhale and exhale back to center. Inhale and exhale over to the other side. Now, all of these uh, uh, stretches are done very carefully because I want to assume that I'm working with both cold bodies and warm bodies, right? So put your hands on your hips. So you are um, <clears throat> getting a nice slow movement into the work. Don't worry, it's working. All right, from here, our knees are still soft. You're taking your chest to the side, to the front to the other side, to the back. You're creating a box with your chest. You're gonna do four in one direction and four in the other. Make sure you're breathing all the way through. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Two, don't move your lower body, keep that anchor. Three and four, nice job. And release your arms down, let them drop. There you go, swing them back and forth. That'll help us keep them in alignment without stiffening up, right? So here we're soft, put your hands back on your thighs or on your hips, push one hip up, lower down into your knees, push the other hip up, lower down into your knees. We do this without the knees uh, for our centering and strengthening warm up. but today we're taking it a little farther, creating that, that connection between the muscles, <clears throat> the back and the legs. Good, we're gonna do four more sets and down and three. Good. And two. Nice J-O-B. And one. Nice job. Come back to the center. Lower. And then you circle. Big circle. Make it as big as you can. Three. Four. Make sure your head's over your tailbone. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. Reverse. One. <clears throat> two. Three. Good. Four. Nice. Five, six, seven, and 
aid and bring your body up. Now, put those legs back to sit bone width apart. I want you to come on the toe of one leg four times. So take it up and down. Two, it's progressive. So wherever you want to stop on this, three and four. So if you want to stop here, feel free to stop. But we're going to go into a jazz passe. So we're going to take it up one pointed toe. Two, nice. Three, good job. Keep your head over your tailbone. Four, hold it there. Extend one. You can hold on to something. Just don't fall back. Two, three, and hold it out here for four. And then fold it and then bring it back down. Now the same leg, I want you to take it out to the side. Same thing, and then we're gonna to go to ballet passe. Take it one, nice. Two, you got it. Three, good. And four, now you're gonna take it up the leg. Take it one, nice. Two, and you can hold your arms out for balance or you can hold on to something. And let's go right into our tree, right here. I want you to hold your arms in a circle. I know we usually do eagle here, but we're just gonna hold circle. Good, breathe into it, keep your head over your tailbone. So I don't want you to focus on too many things at once. Good, and lower that down to parallel. Other side, lift the heel for four. One, good. Two, nice job. Three, perfect. And four, hold it up there into the jazz passe. Again, you can put your hands out into the circle. Take it up for four, one, nice, two, you've got it, three, this is also helping your back, and four, keep yourself lifted, take it, one, nice, two, perfect, three, and four, and bring it all the way back down, take it to the turnout, right, you're still keeping the other leg parallel, obviously, you did it on the other side, so let's bring it up, one, <coughs> two, Three and four, jazz passe, take it, or belly passe. Two, three, and here we go into our tree and hold it right there. Nice job, get your head over your tailbone, don't pitch forward, work on that balance. Nice job. Good, and slide it back down to parallel. From here, I'm gonna go diagonal. We're going to take a forward bend, right here to neutral. Our hands are on our thighs. Good, so from here, I want you to drop your arms and bring yourselves up and slide back down to neutral. Drop your arms, bring yourself up, slide back down to neutral. Drop your arms, curl yourself up. Some are not coming up. Slide back down to neutral. Drop your arms and reach toward the floor. So you're in a fold, you can bend. Feel free to bend your knees. Now I need to go parallel. Feel free to bend your knees a little bit if you need to. I'm more interested in the hips and the hamstring right now because we've given the hamstring a lot and it's going to get more. All right, walk your hands forward. Don't walk your legs back yet. Just make sure they're under your hips and then rock in this position. Get the nervous system used to it. All right, take the legs straight back behind you. Just straight back, point it out, point it out. Bend the knee, bring the foot as close to your glute as possible, your foot is pointed. Take your knee out to the side. Good, extend the leg behind you so it goes past the standing leg, right? So you're opening in the chest and you're opening in the hip and you're opening in the groin, and you're opening in that leg. All right, bend the knee, face it down, and bring it all the way to the floor. Push your chest toward your thighs a little bit, and then release back to pike. All right, take it straight out again, other side. <clears throat> bend the knee, take it as close to your glutes as possible, bring it behind, and then extend. Don't let your arms bend, right? A lot of people bend on one side. <clears throat> All right, breathe, keep breathing. Then bring the foot to your glute, bend it down and bring it back to center. Now, we're gonna make this more of a downward facing dog. So we do that by 
opening the legs back and pushing the chest toward the thigh. One knee down and the other heel push toward the floor. And just breathe into it. Nice long arms, stay long. Now you can also do this on your couch or on a chair, okay? And then switch, because some people don't like too much of an inversion, and I hear you. Nice, and then push both heels down and push your chest toward your thigh. I'd like you to walk one hand up to your, uh, one foot up to your hand, and then bring yourself up to lunge, get yourself centered, Nice. I used the wrong one, so I'm going to be moving away from you. Put your arms out to the side and rotate into warrior two. So your back leg is facing forward. Your front leg is facing in the direction of your hand. Your back leg is in the direction of your chest. Your head is over your tailbone. You're coming as low as you can to be safe. Good. Then you're reaching toward your ankle and looking up toward your hand. Nice. Keep that center. Beautiful. Inhale and exhale and bring it back up. Nice. So now I'm going to turn around. So, so now here is that, that lunge. And I want you to push both feet forward. Then you're going to do a forward fold with a wide leg. Bring it down. Try to get your elbows to the floor if you can. Nice. And then you're going to heel toe your legs back together. Nice. And back to our downward facing dog. All right, take the other leg up. Bring yourself up into that lunge. Feel the strength of that. Opening here. And then here we go, our warrior two. Everybody knows that warrior two is my favorite. Get your head over your tailbone. Arm comes down, other arm comes up. You look toward it. Everything is straight and long. Good. Then our hands come to the floor. We straighten both legs to the front and you're down to that hinge again. From here, we're gonna walk it to one side. Hold down. Staying low, then we're gonna walk it to the other side. And then come back to the center. Nice, heel toe. All right, you're hang hanging out right here. Now put your hands on your shins and come into that neutral position. Now take a demi plie or a demi squat right here, just halfway. Then bring yourself up onto your hands. Let's take those feet a little closer, almost up onto your hands and make a prayer arm with your elbows together. You're going to take that to one side of your leg. There you go. Inhale up and exhale over to the other side. Nice. Now again, if this is hard on your knees, just come to your open twist, all right? Bring yourself back to center and curl yourself up. I wanna get a little more of the upper body. Make sure my fan is on, it's starting to get warm. All right, open those legs and soften. Good. Now take the arms out to the side. You're going to push one arm out slide it across and take it out. Now the knees bend up side to side. They go into side to side lunges as you do this. Nice. Four more. Four. And three. And two. And one. And hold it right there. Let's go to the other side. Push first to the outside and then come in. Push out. Nice. Four more, four, good, and three, nice, and two, 
And one, come back to the center. Make sure your feet are forward because we're going to do a little bit more dramatic stuff. Now that we're all warmed up, you're going to lower down and come on back up into an arch. Don't bend your knees, but keep everything soft. If this is too hard on your back, don't do it. Just come right straight up. So inhale down and exhale back. Inhale down and exhale back. Inhale down and exhale back. And then center yourself and come to cactus again. From here, keeping your legs soft. You're gonna drop your arms down and up. Down, it's your marionette position. Down and up and down and hold it here. Nice job. Out and in. Now, out and in doesn't seem like much, right? Until you get the muscles nice and tired and then it's a lot. All right, so we're gonna sweep down and up. We'll do this in our breathing. Now we're just going to do it as part of our stretch. Active isolated stretching says if you push through in the same positions, the muscle will get longer without having to have to do the static hold. So I like to include that philosophy in all of my work. Four more. I don't use it every day, but I use it every week. Three. Nice. And two. And one. All right, heel toes feet together. Good. Heel toe, heel toe, heel toe. All right. And we're going to push one leg forward, like we do with uh, downward facing dog. Just push it forward. Now put your top of your foot on the mat. Good. Now put the heel on the mat and separate the toes. Then lift the leg off the floor and rotate your ankle one direction and then the other. There we go, and push it down. All right, other side. Yay, we're gonna uh, put the heel, on, or no, you're gonna put the knee forward first, sorry. Then you're gonna put the heel into the floor, pull it up. Make sure you open those toes. And then bring the knee up and rotate the ankle one direction and then in the other, and then bring it down. Now, we're gonna go to releves eight times. So hands beside your uh, hips, feet in parallel, take it up, and one. Lift, and two, try to hold it at soft. Lift, and three. Lift, and four. Four more, and three, and two, last, one, lower it down, open wide, just lunge side to side. This is very familiar, the legs are forward. Nice, just finishing off here, four more. And three, and two, remember the position, your eyes are on the floor, and one. Nice job, bring it in, come in part way. Soften your knees, washing machine, nice. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and two, and one. Come to the center, breathe up, and down, two more up, and down, and last 